Are you picking your nose? Booger picker. <laughs> Booger picker. <laughs> well, here we are again <laughs> at the doctor's office. Our last appointment wasn't our last. Hopefully, this is the last. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. I think we're in here in like record time. My appointment was 11.10. It's 11.30 now, but we got called back at 11.18. We only waited eight minutes. That's good. That's never happened before. <laughs> so we got good news that um, even though I'm only a centimeter and a half to like maybe two centimeters dilated hopefully it won't matter because he finally said that he was gonna he said he's gonna schedule an induction for Monday so if nothing happens by like Sunday night then at five o'clock in the morning on Monday I call into the hospital and tell them like I am set to be induced today do you guys have any it's really weird they apparently like you call the office and you tell them that you're you, that you're being induced that day at, or the hospital and you tell them that you're being induced that day and then if they have room you go in and then if not they call you back like a little bit later that day when they do have room super weird i've never even heard of that before but um yeah either way at some point on monday i will be getting the ball going and starting my induction so i'm excited there's an end in sight <laughs> yeah all right come on keep pushing You grocery shopping? Yep. Okay. Come this way. This way. We're gonna go over there. Watch out, watch out. See, this is what I mean. This is why sometimes we need help, because you didn't even see that cart standing sitting there. You almost ran into it. Lots of good stuff. Yeah, I'll cut up the pineapple. Alright, let's go check out. Check out. You got it? So we went to the grocery store and we didn't pick up too much. I picked up like half of the amount of groceries that we normally do just because we only have like, if he doesn't come early, then at the most we have like four days left until Monday. And I'm like afraid of buying a bunch of groceries and then they're just gonna go bad. But I did pick up a pineapple. Picked up two actually, we already cut up one. And I ate about probably almost half of the pineapple already. Cause I don't know, I'm excited. Although like it's cool that I, I have an induction date now, I kind of hope that I go into labor before that because I think it'd be fun and interesting to see what my body going into labor on its own looks like just because I was induced with ready. So I already know what an induction looks like, you know? Or at least I have an idea. I don't have any idea what being, like just going into labor naturally looks like. I think that'd be fun. I don't know, would my water break first, or... I don't know, I think it'd be interesting. Are you excited about baby brother coming? Yeah? We're gonna meet him Monday, maybe Tuesday at the latest. Depending on how long they let you be induced for. Or how long they let the process go on. With Riley, I went in on the third, and they told me, like, you're not leaving, like, the third will not end without a baby. Like, you'll have an emergency, you'll have a not emergency You'll have an, you'll, either you'll, she'll come or we're gonna cut her out, basically. So, I knew for sure. I know, but some people, I've heard of some people going into labor, or going in to be induced, and then, them letting them labor for like, a day and a half, two days. So, I don't know, I guess it depends on the hospital. Yeah, we got a pineapple. Could this, could this be the trick? So this bring baby brother earlier? It's for you, but not right now because it's late. I have been having more like Braxton Hicks. I guess it's what they are. They're not really like contractions because they don't actually hurt. But they've been getting really tight. And then they relax and they get tight. Also, you know what's kind of ironic? Sunday, 
no, Monday will be exactly a week since we started this little dinosaur or dragon egg. And it, the instructions say it'll take it'll take a week to hatch. So, baby brother and dinosaur, or dragon or whatever you want to call it, might both be hatched at the same time. It might be a tie. Oh my goodness. I really quickly also wanted to share these. So my dad's in town. Um, he lives in California, and he's in town trying to like everybody was trying to come out here around the time where baby brother was supposed to arrive um and I haven't filmed with him because like I don't know I, I don't think he doesn't know about my youtube channel and it's just kind of an awkward thing I don't know but he brought a bunch of clothes for baby brother oh and they're so cute I just wanted to share them so yeah he brought this one with little monster feetsies and <laughs> This one, camo, I think he brought this for Jake. Jake's kind of hick. Um, these little shorts or pants, I can't really, I don't know, <laughs> I can't really tell. Um, these ones, this is like a little a set. It's got um, baby bear, and then Bear ones, oh, I should have done this better. Handsome little fella. The bears. A striped one. So cute. And then also more like camo. A little dude. Little dude. <laughs> and then another set. I think this one's a newborn set. Yeah, so he got a couple outfits newborn size and then most of them I think are zero to three. This one, tough like dad. I don't know if that's that's kind of a lie. Daddy's not really tough. But we can pretend, right? This one, dirt magnet. <laughs> and then more little trucks built tough. Another just kind of striped ones. And then what does this one say? dirt magnet <laughs> cute and this is kind of a set so it comes with a little it comes with a little um, hat and these shorts or these pants have little bears on the feet oh my goodness so cute and then I think that one is a set with this one that says baby bear so cute oh my goodness just hurry up and get here so you can wear some cute clothes. Hey, Smile. 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 Smile.